The road goes ever on and on. Just like childbirth. You barely remember the misery. Home, James. Mind the gap, please. A lovely bunch of non-suches. From your mum's garden. But she's crying. Can you make me different? I want to be different. But you are different. She means like everyone else. I'm supposed to care about dresses and dances and all I can think about are rockets and chemicals. Can you give me something to make me silly? For a couple of hours, I dare say. Shush! You don't have to care about dresses and dances. You just have to pretend to. Your mother told you to always tell the truth, didn't she? The lies they tell children. But you ladies don't care about dresses, do you? But I love dresses. Keep to your chemicals for later. Later? Later when? Things change. What do you mean? Do you know something? Where did you all go? I've forgotten how bright Joy is. Well, it's getting late, isn't it? 
time for all good wellies to cuddle up in bed. I shall leave you in the woods instead. But his wife said. Christ, that's a lot of plague victims. I guess they all want to go home. I guess they've forgotten why they're here in the Garden District. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I can't keep you on if you can't be friendlier. Who's there? My business, really. Uh. Uh. Oh, look, you've been beaten by a girl.
the one who done it. <gasps> ha! Sleep. Dream. <laughs> Now I see what the boys like about fighting. You had this coming. Oh, what fun. Oh, you're never gonna get married if you treat men like that. You'd never believe the day Mummy's had. You did it, didn't you? Not as invisible as you thought. We're so pleased you survived the garden district.
Swipe up time. That's a good girl. I think they're just cranky. They're tired. Damn it, Arthur. Get the cod liver oil. Gwen's getting sicker by the minute. Which you don't know. I wonder if I should have told you. Bloody hell, I've lost my dollar. <laughs> Now, if I'm going to Sugar Hill, which train do I take? Out of the smelly darkness into... Well, not that much better.
casual rotting. Ours not to question what? Lovely to see you, Miss if Boyle. To... Nice to see you, Miss Boyle. No. Hello, boys. Keeping us safe? Next war can't come soon enough, if you ask me, miss. Hope the Jerry's come before my knees go, ma'am. I'll let the Jerry's know you miss them. You lot don't appreciate the General, because all you know... I hope the General's not in one of his old poor me moons. It's such a chore dragging him out of them. If he's cheery... I bet he'll give me the letter of transit without... Hello? Hello? Anybody home? It's Sally Boyle. I'm not a German infiltrator. Please don't ambush me. Where are they? Miss Boyle! We weren't expecting you. Harry, why the fuck is the gate open? Excuse my French, ma'am. I told you to close it. No, Sergeant, you didn't. You said you were going to close it, but you had to go to the loo first. No, I didn't. I said I'm going to the loo. Why don't you close the gate? Boys? Boys, you can close it now if you like. Right, Harry. Close the gate, if you please, whilst I accompany Miss Boyle to the General's office. Miss Boyle! Oh, won't he be happy to see you? He's trying to fix the boat again. The one in the warehouse? You mean the one in the boathouse, as is, Mom? They've moved the boat to the water. And he's got Hardy patching it up. Hardy don't hardly know which end of a boat goes in the water. If you don't think Hardy's up to it, find me someone who does know boats. Sally! Suppose you drift away, sir. How are we going to fetch you? What an unexpected pleasure. Army officers ought not to be pottering about in boats, sir. I realise you must be out of rainbow. You haven't been round in weeks. Wasn't I around just a few days ago? Damn it. Oh, and a friend of mine left the parade without his letter of transit. Now he can't go back to work. Isn't that silly? Any friend of yours, my dear. It's been too long, anyway. Oddest thing, last time I was there, I could swear I heard something that sounded like a cat. But I haven't seen a cat since the war. Have you? Fortunately, I wrote myself a note. Sally's got a... baby. What do you suppose that means? Who knows? Once you hallucinated that you were back in India and you kept saying, but I don't want to shoot some poor bastard's elephant. <laughs> <laughs> You're as clever a liar as I am. <laughs> you can lie with the truth. Your cruel to toy with me, General. It's Dr. Velox, baby. Isn't it? No wonder you never told him. God knows what he'd do to a baby. You might have told me. She's not your bloody baby. So what do you care? Do you remember the children born after the war? We got some of them out, but... They made everyone so unhappy. Can... can you get us out? I might be able to get her out, if I'm very clever, but... No. I can't spare you. What do you think would happen if our beloved Bobbies ran out of Blackberry Joy? I've a safe house. Remember that abandoned building where you threw me that masquerade ball last year? I've cleaned it up a bit. Bring her there. I'm not sending her away. Why not? It's traditional, a single girl in trouble, not equipped to take care of her baby. I'd have thought you'd be grateful. You'll end up in one of Dr. Verloc's glass cells, and even I won't be able to save you. You don't know what it's like to be alone, do you? A girl like you never is. <laughs>
I think you know the way out. All right. I've got the bloody letter of transit. Arthur said he'd let me know when he had the cod liver oil. Oh, I hope he sent me something on the blower. Wait, I wish I could have just got it for Arthur for old time's sake. But Gwen needs that cod liver oil. Is that yours? Oedipus didn't know what he was doing. But if the war's over... Lovely to see you, Miss Boyle. Nice to see you, Miss Boyle.
the General's Bristol pilot. My God, if I could steal a boat, but does it work? I don't know who you're trying to fool, Mum. Talking all posh like that. You think Prince Charming's going to come visiting with a glass slipper? I hope not. He's already married to Snow White, Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. Don't be smart. Nobody likes a smart girl. Staff orders. Don't have to think so much. Miss Boyle, how lovely to see you. You got the boat in the water. Well, over the water anyway. It don't leak quite as much anymore. Thing is, the motor don't turn. I mean, forget starting it. The old man's got the only key. I can't even turn it with a wrench. Rusted solid. I'd have to take it apart, but I think I'd never get it back together again. You know a lot about boats, and you're the only one fixing it up? Ma'am, I'm a joiner. If you need a door hung, I'm your man. Apparently that makes me the General's expert on boats. My dad and I patched up a Bristol pilot when I was a girl. Is that what sort of boat it is? Did about 20 leagues, but yeah, it wasn't really white water. So we sold it for a twin diesel schooner. Of course, the Navy requisitioned that for lake patrols. We tried to patch up a Q-boat during the occupation, but we couldn't find a ramjet. I'm not an expert. Would you happen to know how to fix the motor? Well, if it's rusted solid, maybe Dr. Faraday would make a new one for me. You know Dr. Faraday? If the likes of me asked her, she'd probably zap me with one of her satanic devices. All right. But don't tell the General. No, ma'am. It'll be our little secret. Won't the General be surprised? Gwen, oh, we may just make it out of here alive after all. I just need to get Dr. Faraday to make a new boat motor for me. Then I lied my ass off to Hardy. <laughs> I've never been near a boat. So I'll need to find someone who can tell me how to drive one. And I guess I'll need to steal the General's key to the boat. All right, <laughs> first things first. Who can tell me about boats? Hmm. Wait. Ah, oh, the air raid shelter. Arthur and I snuck in there once. And then we walked the rail tunnels all the way back to Maiden Home. I should go down there and make sure the hatch door is still open. Never hurts to have an escape hatch. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't Arthur be pleased if he'd come up with that? Who drinks that much whiskey?
Brilliant. Now I... Oh, that crazy old pirate. He must know about boats. He can't be hard to find. He's always at the pub. Follow the yellow brick road. My nose needs a bath. And now it's time to show it, gentlemen. That's me. Answer your letters and questions about our lives in beautiful Wellington world. This one is from. Whoa! A bit too bright and shiny, Sally. That's what my friend I thought I saw one. Well, look at you! Emory, of course, is a bit fuzzy. Underneath our streets. And of course, the Wellington Under is completely blocked up. Don't make them like you anymore.
Chilly and hungry too. Of course you are. You're a girl. We're supposed to walk around in tiny skirts all winter, not eat the food that's put in front of us. And the other girls say, aren't you cold? And you are, but they don't mean it. They're just jealous of your legs. And don't get me stuck. <laughs> <sighs> what am I doing even taking joy? I should be taking sunshine. I've forgotten how bright Joy is. years and second because you're not at this shop. Well, dear, I wasn't 
take this one. Susan J. Tyler, she was kind of thick. Tune in again tomorrow for more advice, news from our listeners and watchers.